letter made a very interesting reading. Do you mean you stole it? Yes. I even wrote her two anonymous notes offering to sell it back. Why? I was hoping you would make her come and tell me all about him. But it didn't. So I kept the letter. Why are you telling me all this? Because you're the only person I can trust. Anyway, that did it. It must have put the fear of God into them because the letter stopped. And we lived happily ever after. Now, it's funny to think that just a year ago, I sat in that Knightsbridge pub actually planning to murder her. And I might have done it if I hadn't seen something that changed my mind. Well, what did you see? I saw you. What was so odd about that? The coincidence. You see, only a week before, I'd been to a reunion dinner, and the fellows were talking about you. How you'd been court-martialed during the war, a year in prison. Uh, that was news. Mind you, at college, we'd all said that old Swan would end up in jail. That cash box, I suppose. Well, what about it? Oh, my dear fellow, everybody knew you took that money. Poor old Elf. Thanks very much for the drink. Interesting hearing about your matrimonial affairs. I take it you won't be wanting that car after all. Don't you want me to tell you why I brought you here? Yes, I think you'd better. It was when I saw you in that pub that it happened. Suddenly, everything became quite clear. Only a few months before, Margot and I had made our wills, quite short affairs, leaving everything we had to each other in case of accidents. 